Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, so although Chromebooks are not gaming machines, as time goes on, there are more and more options for playing your favorite games on a Chromebook. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of those options and we're gonna be checking out how to get GeForce Now on a Chromebook. Now, before we start, if you like videos like this and you wanna see how to install specific games or applications on your Chromebook, then please consider subscribing. I've done a few videos like this. I'll be doing a bunch more to show you how to install stuff and configure things on your Chromebook. Now, if you already know what GeForce Now is, then you can just click on the link in the video description and it'll skip you to the how to play section. Otherwise, here's a quick rundown of what GeForce Now is. GeForce Now is NVIDIA's game streaming service that has clients for multiple devices from Macs to NVIDIA Shield set-top boxes. Recently, they released a web client that in addition to working on some other machines works great on a Chromebook and it works great with both a controller and with just the mouse and keyboard for controlling the games. The best part is that it runs all in the web, so there's absolutely nothing that gets installed on your machine. You should be able to run this on pretty much any Chromebook that doesn't have the GeForce Now site blocked, because if it's blocked, can't get to it. Another great thing is that you don't even need to pay to play many of the games that are offered, as they offer both a free and a paid account. One thing to note though, is with that free version, you may have to wait for the availability of those gaming rigs, those gaming servers, and you are limited to a one hour playtime. If you want instant access to the gaming rigs and no time limit, the monthly membership is only $4.99 and that is well worth the price in my opinion. All right, we're just about there. So if you want to use your mouse and keyboard, make sure your mouse is attached to your Chromebook. If you want to use a controller, make sure that that is paired and connected to your Chromebook as well. If you don't have a controller yet, check the link down in the description to an Xbox One controller that works great on my Chromebook. So now we are ready to start playing. To get started, simply go to play.geforcenow.com. There's a link down in the description that'll take you right there. Just create an account or log in if you already have one. If you're creating one, you can create that free account and play the games as long as you're okay with those limitations that I mentioned earlier in the video. Once the account is created and you log in, you'll be presented with your library and you can select any of the games that you want that are presented in that library. The library is split into different sections, including things like featured, indie spotlight, and free to play. Now in that free to play area, it has all the games you'd expect to be in there like Apex Legends, Fortnite, League of Legends, all that kind of stuff. You can also use the search at the top of the screen to search for specific games. You just gotta kinda hope that they exist in the GeForce Now library because not everything's in there. Depending on the game you select, you may have to put in credentials for another gaming service. For instance, I own Dying Light on Steam, so when I launch that, I have to enter my Steam credentials before it's gonna launch because that's where I have purchased that game. Once you launch into your game, assuming you have a good internet connection, I've found the experience to be very good on even an inexpensive Chromebook. I've played several games with both the controller and the mouse and keyboard on several different Chromebooks and everything seemed to be a really good experience overall. Since I know many of you are here for this, yes, Fortnite works great streaming through this service so you can get your Fortnite on. Now, because all of this processing takes place on the NVIDIA servers, it's only the screen updates, sound, and user input that's being sent back and forth. If you've not used a cloud gaming before, you may expect there to be a huge lag, but thanks to the superb compression that's being used with GeForce Now, that's not the case and everything is actually very, very smooth. You might also expect the graphics to be significantly reduced or blocky, but that is just not the case either. The games being streamed look superb. I did see the occasional slowdown if my connection got bottlenecked, but overall, it was a very solid experience. Once you're done with the game, you just quit out like you normally would on any other computer, but in this case, close your browser as well. Nothing was loaded or saved on your Chromebook, so you don't have to worry about any files being corrupted, running out of space, or anything of that nature. I've tested GeForce Now on several different platforms, and I've always been really impressed 
with how it performs on all of them. Now, I hope you found this useful and informative. If you did, please hit that thumbs up or consider subscribing, especially if you like videos like this. I'll be putting out a bunch more. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.